what's up, what's up? It's your boy Off Seeds. Go for no Fridays, aka knock, and the door shall be open. Yeah, that's from Matthew chapter 7. Asking it is given, seeking you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open. So on Fridays, I go for no. I knock on the door to see if the door shall be open. Am I believing that knocking on the door, the door shall be open? You have not because you knock not. See what I'm saying? A lot of times we do a lot of asking, but not a whole lot of knocking. Because we said, Lord, you know, show us the way. He said, hey, there go the door right there. Go knock, see if the door going to be open. That door look locked. Who's behind door number one? And you gotta see that. You gotta see that. You gotta trust that. You gotta trust that. That's what you gotta do. You gotta trust that. Yeah. Otherwise, there's a lot of doors that don't open because you ain't been knocking. I ain't been knocking. So I gotta knock on some doors today. So I'm ready. I did some stuff last night. We thought about some stock, thought about some strategies on some stocks, the whole fam sitting around. We did that. I still got to get with my wife that she ain't been taking enough trades. She need to put some trades in. Let me go and text her to make sure she put in a trade. You know, she got to get, get that sea legs up under. I said, we only dealing with simulated money. We just got to put the trades in. Let's go ahead and get two, three hunging in the bunion coming down. Let's go ahead and get some more strategies. And my daughter been teaching me something too. I've just been looking for three to one. And she says she like that three to one ratio, but two to one is fine too. If everything else lines up, surely then go to two to one. I had been I hadn't been checking out the odds enhancers. So now I've been on them about the two to one trade and if it wasn't a two to one trade, man, I wasn't taking it. But I need to go ahead and put, put pen to paper. Yeah, see that's how bouncing that stuff back off each other gonna be about, you know what I'm saying? Knocking, knocking. And then plus I'm getting to my, um, my alert today. Five to 10 out of the alert today. Yeah, no doubt. I gotta get that out. Five to 10 out of the alert. Then I gotta cut this hair. Oh man, this hair is itching. Gotta cut this hair off tonight. Gotta fix my daughter's car on Sunday. Just a little simple fix, you know what I'm saying? But on the inside game, man, my wife, we talked yesterday, went out to lunch, and then I mentioned about the uh, going to the beach, you know what I'm saying? She was talking about, hey, look, I'm saving that money up. I wanna get that beach condo, and I was trying to tell her, hey, we don't wanna put this this happiness way off in the future somewhere. We want to put that happiness way so far off in the future. Well, I'm going to be happy when I get that. So what you going to do now? I said, why don't we just go down there more often? Instead of two times a year, we go four times a year. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to do all that driving. I said, you don't even drive anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, but, uh, so I said, cause so I kind of left it alone, you know what I'm saying? But then I came back that night. I said, look, I was just thinking. Instead of us going four times a year, why don't we just stay twice as long? Like two weeks. Two weeks? That's too long. Too long? What? Yeah. That's too long. How could that be too long? You say you want to stay down there forever? You know, that's, that's the brain coming in, you know, kind of bounce it out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm just thinking she took a Kelly and she got a Kelly day and then took a day off. She have a Kelly day, which is a total of five days off, and then she take a day off, she get a total of eight days off. Then she said the same thing too, but yeah, but when I get back, I'm gonna need some time to relax too. I gotta have time to relax after that. We just relaxed on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I just throwed it out there. It's out there, right? I went for the no. That's what I was just thinking. Listen to this guy, man. He was talking about I could teach you to be rich. And really, I thought he was going to teach me how to make money. That's what I thought, right? I thought, but he not. What he teaching 
is people that got money don't matter, you know, they still don't feel rich. He's teaching them to be rich in their mind, not necessarily rich in, in their pockets. So I think he's like kind of like a little marriage counselor. People that's uh that's uh you know they ain't on the same page with their finances, which is pretty much everybody, right? Yeah, pretty much everybody. But he was saying these people that you know make a ton of money still live like they poor and penny pension and not enjoying themselves. And that was one of the ladies she was talking about. She was saving up all the money for the beach house. She said, look, how much, at the current saving rate, how much money you think you're gonna have? How long do you think it's gonna take? She said, 10 years. He said, okay, in 10 years when you had a beach house, the kids ain't gonna be kids. They ain't gonna be kids, you're gonna miss all that time. That's what I'm saying, shoot, go five, 10 years, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't want to miss that time. Let's go now. Stay longer. Let's do it now. We're in the now phase. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why I went out to lunch with her yesterday. Spent as much time as I can with the family. So when I go to work, I got to go to work to work. I got to grind hard. I got to put in that thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that thing in. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to do. That's what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. See what I'm saying? Hmm, I need to get my stuff together for my passport or my star driver's license. Yeah, yeah. I need to get that together too. My daughter going to get her star driver's license so she can travel. Shoot, we're going to have to get ours too. We got to. Then I was looking at last night too about my son, you know, for some applying to more jobs. So he got some little Chrome add-ons. I just found that that's a thumb and three man, you know, and I finally found something worth worth getting. Cause I always look through deal news. Then for some reason my wife was over there looking too, and she looked and something caught her eye. She said, applying for jobs automatically. She said, well, see what that's about. So I saw what that was about. They was charging like $69. So I went to the store and they had something on there for free. So I'm going I'm to bump that back to my son. Say, look, man, we got to get back on that program. Because how can you expect to get a job if you ain't applying for none? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got to put the work in. Then we talked about the stove, you know. What you going to do with the business? How we going to get this business off the ground? We got that iron in the fire. But I ain't gonna worry about the other stuff. They gonna take care of stuff. All the remodeling gonna get done this year. It's gonna get done. Cause I haven't put it out there, right? And plus, this is day seven. This is day seven of putting that cheek. I got another 7,000 coming in the bank today. I think I'm gonna spend about two grand on some landscaping. It'll probably take about two grand. Get the bushes in that I want. them bushes in and what else what else maybe something else I gotta get what else I gotta get huh what else I gotta do what else what else what can I do I'm asking y'all what can I do with that other six six grand I think I'm gonna have to get some to some charity today I can't think of that right now but I'm gonna have to get some to some charity I might get you know cause six grand really Ain't a whole lot I can, you know, because we're not already redone the kitchen. We already, uh, redone. Hmm, my daughter getting ready to get into her new house. They may need something. Yeah. They may need, I'm gonna think of something. Anyway, I gotta spend that six grand a day. Or else I don't get the eight grand tomorrow. So it's all gotta be divvied up, assigned. I gotta assign that money. I gotta get in the habit of assigning that money. Those resources. Oh, this is the guy right here. I'm gonna turn right here. I ain't going over that bump. And over the resources. You know what I'm saying? The resources. It's opening my mind up. These ain't. It ain't have to be just income. This is passive income, so I don't know where it's coming from. 
Don't matter. Don't matter where it's coming from. All I know is it's coming in. I had something like that happen to me one time before. And every day I sat at my computer, I was able to generate this coupon. So, you know, first couple of days, I was like, okay, maybe that's that. And I said, no, is this for real? Let me try it. Boom. Pull the coupon, went and checked. It was for real. So uh, we talking serious money. So I would have told my boss, I said, man, look, this thing generating coupons. He said, you for real? I said, generate me one. Boom, there it go. I said, dang. So we were able to use it for a good close friend of ours that needed some help out of a sticky situation. Generate the coupon, boom, back in business. And then it stopped. It stopped. The stars on the it stopped. But it was only on my computer only at work. That's crazy, right? No, it ain't crazy. It's coincidence, right? No, it ain't no coincidence. They were just being in a receiving mode. Because it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? That's where it come. I, just, I, never, I didn't had it happen, right? I told my wife, I, said, I ain't tell her this, but I may tell her. I said, wouldn't it be nice somebody just give us a shed and all we got to do is just uh, have it move. I said, yeah, that'd be fantastic. She said, yeah, that'd be fantastic. I know she'll say, yeah, that'd be fantastic. That'd be nice. Who would I get to move it, though? Would I call, uh, I can call one. That they get, there you go, right there. The guys that move sheds. I can just call them. They already got the truck. Just some extra work. up on the highway with my fellow compadres. Time for me to do this thing in life. Go for some nose. Should have shaved today, but I'm finna go for some nose. I'm finna listen to some go for no. Then we're gonna go for some nose. Peace out. Do it to your life. Do it to it. Do it to that like. Do it to that thumbs up. Woohoo!